All right, welcome back to the Arsenal podcast, guys. Thank you for joining me all the time. I come live all the time. I give you know I give you an upload. Um, thank you for joining. Now our Europa League squad is confirmed, but without Mesut Ozil, without William Saliba, without Socrates Papastapeles, and the biggest talk is around Mesut Ozil. I want to know from you in the comment box. Get into the comment box and tell me. Talk to me. Give me your opinion. What do you think about Ozil being axed from our Europa League squad? What do you think about William Saliba being left out of the squad as well? And what do you think about Socrates being left out of the squad? I'm going to be reading the whole squad and then we'll be discussing issues concerning Arsenal in the Europa League. Basically Europa League. I'm, I'm, I'm really going to discuss Europa League. So no transfers. Nothing like um, Premier League or something. We're going to be discussing Europa League and um, where I think we shall finish. Now, group stages is a walkover. The group stages is a walkover. We have Molde, we have Dundalk, we have Rapid Vienna. You know, it's, it's, it seems so easy. This is so easy. It's a walkover. Like, you know, I'm going to tell you the truth. If we don't get maximum points out of this, you know, Europa League, you know, group, then we shall never get maximum points. This is, you know, these are maximum points. Rapid Vienna, yes, they are. They're not the, the easiest of clubs, but you know, you should get maximum points at least at the Emirates. Those, you know, this should be nine points at least at the Emirates, and then probably if you go away, but no, you know, there is no excuse. There is no excuse. Absolutely no excuse. I think this should be um, nine points. So we are going to be looking at the whole squad. Uh, Arsenal did produce Mikel Arteta. The, you know, how should I call him? You know, the man with the big philosophy and so on uh, released a squad of so many players, but Mesut Ozil is out. Talk to me. What do you think about Mesut Ozil being left out of our Europa League? What do you think about William Saliba being left out of the Europa League fixture? Squad, sorry. Because I'm going to be discussing that after I read the squad to you guys. In the goalkeeping uh, department, four goalkeepers were chosen. Bam Leno. Alex Runa, Runason, Matt Massey, and J uh, Matt Massey, James Simpson, and Dijan Ilev. Actually, um, there are five goalkeepers. Five goalkeepers. Dijan Ilev, James Simpson, Matt Massey, Runa Runason, and then Bad Leno. Uh, of course, in, in this one, I expect so much of uh, Runa Runason. Uh, to to feature in the group stages, you know, because these are really light games. If you cannot, you know, be a good goalkeeper in these games, then he's not fit to be at Arsenal. So I think his, you know, his first challenge uh, comes in the Europa League. You have six games. You have to prove to us that you are really the quality of Arsenal. So I think Runasson is going to be uh, a, you know, a key player in the you know, in the group stages, and then maybe Leno uh, might pick up from the round of 32. It, it will depend on the on the draws. Who we draw uh, from the round of 32, but I think it's gonna be Bruna Runason uh, in the um, in the group stages. Um, Matt Massey, I think he will be the backup goalkeeper. He will be the backup goalkeeper always for Runason uh, in the group stages, and then Leno will be coming in in the round of 32, round of 16, quarterfinals, semifinals, and hopefully if we go to the finals. So um, I think the goalkeeping department is okay. In the defending uh, defenders, uh, he chose Heki Bellerin. Gabriel Magales, Rob Bolding, Cedric Soares, Skodran Mustafi, Callum Chambers, Pablo Mari, David Lewis, Sid Kolasinak, and Kian Tierney. Um, almost, you know, and, you know, Ainsley is, 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 talk, you know, is, is taken as a midfielder. So we have so many defenders, you know, we have so many defenders, so many defenders. Hector Bellerin, Gabriel, Rob Holding, Cedric, Skodran Mustafi, Kalu Chambers, Pablo Mari, David Louis, Sid Kolasina, Kiani. I think how many are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have ten defenders in the Europa League. Ten defenders um, registered for the Europa League. Maybe this is the reason why William Saliba is not in need. Because you know these are so many defenders. And I think um, um, in the Premier League, Hector Bellerin will feature more than any other right back. Uh, Gabriel Magales will feature more. Um, David Louis will feature more 
in the Premier League as well as Kiantiani. In the Europa League, I suspect and I anticipate Cedric Suarez to get, you know, he might get some playing time there. Sid Kolasinac, obviously, is going to be, you know, the, the, the option of um, Kiantiani. So he'll be playing in the Europa League. I hope we don't lose games because of him. Um, then the defenders, you think of um, Pablo Mari could be getting his chances uh, there and then drop all team. I think that might be the defense is going to regularly use. But of, of course, Miguel Atleta is really unpredictable and, you know, his starting lineups are so unpredictable. But I think that could be, you know, uh, the, you know, the four, the back four, he, you know, he, he would like to choose. And I think uh, this is another time for Robolding to show us that he's man enough because in the first games he has played, he wasn't, you know, good enough. But I think this is another time, for, you know, chance to sh for him to show us that he is fit to be in that Arsenal team. Um, Cedric Suarez will be getting some playing time. I think he's okay. And then um, Scotland Mustafi, I, 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 I don't know whether you know, he's going to try to prove a point or, so, or something, but I'm really sure Mikel Atta will give him a chance. Callum Chambers as well, and then Pablo Mari. The rest of the players, uh, Kiantiani and um, Sid, uh, Kiantiani and David Lowy, will be coming in for... Um, will be coming in just in case uh, we need a lot. Now, in the midfield, this is where, you know, it gets, you know, it gets interesting. This is where it gets interesting. Danny Chabayos, William, Aisley McNanaz, Thomas Pate, Mohamed Elneny, and Granny Jaka. And this is where it gets interesting. But, of course, I expect if he's going to use uh, a 3-4-3 three, three in the Europa League, that means you know, he will only need to have uh, two midfielders who are easy to choose. That would be Mohamed Elneny and either Granit Xhaka, yeah, or Ainsley Matlan Niles. I think Elneny and, 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 and Matlan Niles will have to feature more. Or Danny Tobias. I think he can use the midfielders interchangeably. I don't expect Thomas Party to appear so much in the Europa League. Uh, that's the fact. He's going to be a Premier League player, uh, basically, and then, you know, a big man fixture player when, you know, you, you, you have Chelsea in the Carabao Cup, if you draw, um, if you draw um, Liverpool in the FA Cup, I think that's where you know, Pate is going to appear, but I think he's going to be more of a Premier League player. In the, you know, the forwards are also a number, Alexander Lacazette, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Nicola Pepe, Rhys Nelson, Bukayo Saka, Joe Willock, and Emil Smith Rowe. You know, those are the homegrown players. Those are the homegrown players. You get me? Rhys Nelson, Bukayo Saka, Joe Willock, Emil Smith Rowe. Those are the uh, homegrown uh, players. So, um, as the for in, in the, you know, among the forwards, I think um, Nicola Pepe is going to get more chance to play in the. Um, it's going to get more chance to play in the, um, in the Europa League because you know you see that you know William Alexander Lacazette and and, and, and Abamian have always been the favourites uh, for Mikel Arteta when it comes to the Premier League. They are his starting three, so that means Nicola Pepe has to prove his point in the Europa League if he really feels you know it's, you know it, it's unfair for him to be out of you know out of the bench out of you know playing time. When William is on the bench, when, when, when William is on the pitch, and the Bamian is on the pitch. So, I think if there is anything to fight for, I think Nicolas Pepe has to fight for his you know, starting 11 position in the Europa League. I think he's going to get a lot of playing time there. Uh, I also suspect we shall see more of Emily Smith, uh, Smith Rowe because um, many Arsenal fans are crying for him, just like you know, we are crying for Balagan, although Balagan might leave in January. but. We might see much of you know Emily Smith Rowe. The truth is, I want to see him more than I would want to see Joe Willock. I've seen so much of Joe Willock, and nothing changes about him. Nothing changes about him. Now, what is interesting is, I don't know if you guys have noticed. Look, listen to the forwards: Alexander Lacazette, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, Nicola Pepe, Rhys Nelson, Bukayo Saka, Joe Willock, and Emil Smith Rowe. I didn't see anyone like Eddie Ketia, and no one talked about Eddie Ketia. However, I thought in this case, Ketia should have been one of the players that you know you, you include in the Europa League, you know, squad. I don't see him. I don't know whether BBs, you know, Sky Sports have made a mistake. But if they haven't made a mistake, then, then that, that means he's not, you know, included. What do you think about Eddie Ketia being out of this squad? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really sure. 
but here you know he ends here so that means Lacazette will stay as the striker Nicola Pepe will have to appear uh, on that pitch on a regular basis Rhys Nelson will be uh, the, uh, playing on the other flank I don't expect Bukayo Saka to have much of playing time here Gabriel McNeil is also out of this squad so that means um that means we are, you know we shall not see him in the Europa League it's really sad it's really sad there are players I want to see on the pitch every day. I want to see Gabriel Martinelli play on the pitch. He's sensational. He is sensational. I want to see him on the pitch on a daily, daily basis. Trust me. And I think, you know, he's one of the you know, reasons as to why I enjoyed the Europa League campaign last season for Arsenal. He was sensational. Trust me. But anyway, you know, this, the squad is not bad. The squad is not bad. You have a couple of young players there. You have a couple of um, you know second team players there. You have a couple of um, first team players there. So it's not really bad. I think um, it can take us through the group stages unbeaten. Man, so tell me what you think anyway. Tell me what you think. And that is our squad. I want to go through it one more time so that you guys are, are well versed. Some of you have problem uh, pronunciation with reading. Uh, problems with reading and others have problems with um, uh, the pronunciation but I want to go through this squad and you guys will hear it the goalkeepers Ban Leno, Ronason, Mark Marcy, James Hilson and Dijan Ilev will be um, the goalkeepers uh, for us in the Europa League this season defenders Hector Bellerin, Gabriel Magales, Rob Holding, Cedric Soares, Squadron Mustafi, Callum Chambers, Pablo Mari, David Lewis, Sid Kolasinak and Kieran Tierney. Uh, the midfielders, Danny Chibayos, obviously, Thomas Pate, William, Ainsley, Magna Naus, and um, Hamad Elneny, as well as Granit Jaka. And then the forwards, you have Alexander Lacazette, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, and Nicola Pepe. The homegrown talents included um, is Bukayo Saka, Joe Willock, Emily Smith-Rowe, and of course, uh, uh, Rhys Nelson. Have a blessed stay, and stay safe. Don't forget, I'm be, I'll, be, I'll be discussing something about Messi Ozil very soon. I'll be discussing William Saliba very soon. So we are, I'm, going, I'm still discussing so many things. So many things. I'm going, the next video is about Messi Ozil. So make sure you don't miss it. Messi Ozil. His contract is, is about to be terminated. Or oh, Arsenal want to terminate his contract. What do you think about that? Many Arsenal, thinks, you know, many Arsenal fans think he is one player who do well with Thomas Partey. What do you think? Give me your opinion and I'll be back as soon as possible. I mean as soon as I can.